What's up guys, Peter here with Family Bread Puppies and I have puppy Maggie with me who is actually one of Emma's puppies. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through what are some of the steps that we can make to make those first few nights uh, into their new home with, your, uh, with you guys as seamless as possible. So the first thing I wanna talk about is what's inside the cage. So you'll see um, in the cage, I'm gonna put Maggie in here, is you'll see that there's, um, there's the snuggle puppy. So that is something that we talked about in one of our videos that has that live heartbeat that just kind of makes them feel comfortable. Another thing we have is that egg-shaped uh, scrambled egg toy that they just like to play with. Um, and then lastly, you'll see that brown blanket there. Um, and that's a blanket that we send home with all of our customers that has uh, mom scent on it, just to kind of give them a familiar smell. Now, one of the most important things that you can do before even putting the puppy in the cage for their first uh, night is exercise them. Take them on a little walk, um, play with them inside for 15 or 20 minutes. Just get that energy out so that when they do go to their cage, they're like this, that they're just kind of ready to plop down and go to bed, right? Um, another thing that I like to do, Maggie is doing awesome right now, but just know that every puppy is different. You know, there's some puppies like Emma, she was just whining uncontrollably. Um, so what I did to kind of help ease her is I just put my fingers in here and um, I, Emma was just licking my fingers and, and she really just felt, you know, that the cage wasn't a bad place to be and that it was okay. So uh, another thing I want to talk about too is this divider here. It might be kind of hard to see in the video, but I set this divider to about 10 to 12 inches. And what that's going to do is it's going to give them enough space so that they can do a circle um, that Maggie can, you know, spin around, that she can lay down, but not enough space that she can you know, go potty in, in one of the corners and then you know, sleep on the other side. So as the puppy grows up, you'll just kind of gradually make that divider bigger and bigger. Um, next, I wanna talk about placement, right? Where do you put the cage? Do you put the cage um, in your own room? Do you put it in a spare bedroom? Um, honestly, it's just a lot of trial and error. You know, with Emma, I tried putting her in my room and she um, just still uncontrollably whined. And I ended up having to just put her in um, one of the spare bedrooms. And she would whine, but she eventually fell asleep and went to bed. But um, I've heard other people that they started in a spare bedroom and they whined, then they moved them into their room. And once the puppy knew that you know, they were, their family was right there, they were fine. So it's really every puppy is different. And you're gonna see some puppies are gonna be like Maggie and they're not gonna whine at all. There's other puppies that will whine for 30, 45 minutes, a couple hours, right? Um, one of the biggest things that you can do though is you don't want to um, encourage uh, a bad habit. So if a puppy is uncontrollably whining, this is before they, they go to bed, okay? So you put them in the cage and they're uncontrollably whining, don't let them out of the cage. I know it's hard, they're pulling on your heart, you wanna go to them, but what that's doing is it's saying, oh, when I whine, I get to get out of the cage. Now, during the middle of the night, you know, if they start whining after they fell asleep, it probably means they need to go to the bathroom. So that's okay, but not if they haven't gone to sleep yet. Another thing that um, I wanna walk through too is just uh, placing this blanket over the puppy's cage at night. So the reason why you wanna do this is it just covers up um, any, any sound or um, kinda helps with darkness, um, just distraction, just making sure that the puppy isn't seeing things. And then also I have a little noise machine here too. And what that does is it just has a background noise that's always running uh, so that, you know, if someone's mowing the lawn or if there's doors opening, the puppy's not constantly waking up. So those are some of the things um, that I want to walk through. And then lastly is not putting food or water in the cage. That's something I get asked all the time. And the reason why you don't want to do that is because puppies bladders are so small that you don't want them to eat and drink because they'll only be able to um, hold it for about 30 minutes. So especially during the night, they'll eat and drink and then they'll end up going potty in the cage. So that is this video and uh, thanks for watching and watch the rest of our videos too.